Next up, flying class. This is where we'll get our first access to a broom to fly around. I have covered this quest before in a previous video, but here it is again with a new perspective and you'll see all of the cutscenes in full now. If I locate the quest on the map, you'll see over here on the far east by the bell tower wing, we have these here. For me, I don't have any exit close enough to him, so I'll travel all the way from the north exit all the way back to Hogwarts. It's a short jog, but it's much better than running through the entirety of Hogwarts. So turning around to head back in, over to the right is where we're going. Also, I think I'll pass a flue flame here just to activate it. I'll need to wait here because it's night time and in daytime we'll be able to start this. Begin. Grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Now, here you'll have a short quick time event. Just flick your mouse up. up. And I'm pretty sure we have another one coming up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, awesome. Let's start flying around. This section may be a little bit laggy as we're exploring tons around the castle, loading in lots of new areas. So if the video stutters, you know why. Very simple. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. That wasn't too bad. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Hey, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. 
I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? So left click to lean forward and get even more speed. It's a nifty little trick. I don't know how he's descending so fast, but whatever. And hold B to dismount. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. And now we're able to go off by our own broom. That's flying class complete. The next place you'll go is probably Hogsmeade to purchase yourself one. That way you can travel around the open world much faster. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.